Ivan Ivan here testing the new C7 Corvette 0 to 16 in 3.79 seconds, according to some. Unfortunately, I'm in the weather mode because it's awful slippery today. And these vets <laughs> are very responsive to the throttle. Great roads here, too. Can't really test the limits of this ultimate Corvette, but uh, just first impressions, <laughs> it's a cocoon. I think it's a cocoon of speed. Just going through the display, took about five minutes. You can get anything up there you want. It's uh, very impressive. Whatever you want to see up there, you can see a tire pressure, even tire temperature. Geez, you name it, it's all there for you. And uh, it's very impressive. And this is the Z51 package, so it costs how much? 66. 66K. When you consider that performance level with other cars that deliver it, it's a bargain. That is the way a uh, Corvette Stingray should look. Looking out over the edge, this is why I fell in love with the Stingray back in the day. In fact, it was a blue one. And just peering over that hood, this is my pre-Ferrari face. Before I even loved Ferraris, it was the Corvette Stingray. Just those bulges on the hood. Look at them. And look at them in blue. With that road beckoning. I mean, this is what it's all about. This is the rebirth of the Corvette Stingray. And that's a big deal. You know, in the past, there's been complaints about this, the interior, this, that, the other. But, you know, with this one, I think my initial impressions, it's going to silence all the critics because... They seem to have listened to every journalist. They seem to have listened to every Corvette owner and enthusiast. And, uh, whoa, whoa. You can get it loose, definitely. That's what I'm talking about. To be able to do that, to be able to get this car loose any second. I mean, if you don't know what you're doing. Wow. But that's what the Corvette's about. It's about pure performance and pure speed. I would like to see them step up the traction control a little bit because, in my opinion, when you've got the traction control on and you mash the throttle, the back end should not get loose, even in very wet conditions like this. Uh, this Corvette is uh, a handful. So, warning to new Corvette owners, be very careful when you get out there. This car has a lot of power and you have to respect it. What a cool view out of the back of the Stingray. To me, the shape is harkening back to the old times. I think they've better captured the history. And uh, they didn't really do the split windows because, you know, split windows were tough to see out of. But they did do that same sort of look from that same kind of late 60s Stingray golden era, and uh, I like what they've done, Again, very careful, you have to respect the horsepower and the torque, but look at this great road ahead of us, simply amazing, this is where you want to be driving the van, not necessarily on a pouring, wet, soggy, rainy day, but this is the sort of road. One false move, that tail end's coming out. And I don't want that to be me. I don't want to be that guy. So wrapping up my first impressions of the all-new C7 Corvette, I think they've really put together a car here that everyone's going to love. Not just the journalists, but the purists, the people that have loved the Corvette from the old days. They're still going to love this car. And I think that says a lot about what the engineers have done to the C7, and uh, it's just an amazing car. So there you have it. My first quick look at the C7 Corvette. I'm driving Ivan Katz.